I want you to use my words against me. If there's a Republican president in 2016 and a vacancy occurs in the last year of the first term, you can say, Lindsey Graham said, let's let the next president, whoever it might be, make that nomination. And you could use my words against me and you'd be absolutely right. The next president, whoever that may be, is going to be the person who chooses the next Supreme Court justice. I believe the next Supreme Court justice ought to be chosen by the American people through the election of the next president. This is about principle, not the person the president has nominated. And it's why the majority of the Senate has chosen to use this unique situation as an opportunity to let the American people have a voice. And the only way to empower the American people and ensure they have that voice is for the next president to fill the nomination to the, created by this vacancy. The confirmation of a lifetime appoint, appointee to our nation's highest court is far too important to become entangled in the partisan wrangling during a presidential election year. There is a long tradition that you don't do this in an election year. And, and what this means, Chuck, is we ought to make the 2016 election a referendum on the Supreme Court. The American people need a chance to weigh in on this issue, on who will fill that seat. They'll have that chance this November, and they ought to have that chance. The people deserve to be heard, and they should be allowed to decide through their vote for the next president the type of person that should be on the Supreme Court. You can't have one rule for Democrat presidents and another rule for Republican presidents. If an opening comes in the last year of President Trump's term and the primary process is started, we'll wait to the next election. And I've got a pretty good chance of being the judiciary. You're on the record. Yeah. All right. Hold the tape.